Mm. It's a simple montage, and I want to paint a shadow on this telephone so it looks like it belongs in this hand. We'll make a new layer, call it shadow, and with the brush tool, I'll paint in black at a low opacity over the phone. The problem is the shadow spilling out over the hand. So let's make it into a clipping mask. We can go to Layer, Create Clipping Mask, or use the keyboard shortcut. Or alternatively, you can just hold the Option or Alt key and click directly beneath the layer. Now the shadow only shows up where it overlaps the layer directly beneath it. Let's say we want to recolor that phone. We can make a new adjustment layer, and let's choose Hue and Saturation, and we can drag the hue slider wherever we want. But of course it applies not just to the phone, but to all the layers in the document. Once again, we can make a clipping mask out of this, and now it applies just to the shadow and to the phone, because they're in the same clipping group. Let's say we want to darken up the phone and the hand. We can add another adjustment layer, let's use curves, and we can drag down on the curve to darken it up. But of course it darkens everything beneath it. We can't simply make a clipping mask here, because then it'll apply only to the layers in that clipping group, and not to the hand. Instead, we can select all the layers we want to apply to, and make a new group from these layers. Now we can make a clipping mask of our curves layer, and it applies just to this group and not to the background layer. And that's how to use clipping masks in Photoshop.